Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Mayika D here, and welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a soft, matte, everyday glam kind of look. I did this look about a week and a half ago for a, a thing, we'll say. And I was looking back on all the pictures that I took, like all the selfies, and it looked super cute. And I'm like, yo, why don't I do this every day? So, I'm gonna go ahead and film it for you guys. It's really soft, it's really, I wanna say kinda glam. It's gonna be glam for some people, glam for, not, not glam for a lot of other people. Uh, for me, uh, it was just like in the middle of like, oh hey, I wanna be simple, but oh hey, I also wanna show out because we got, we got things to do, we got moves to make, we got, you know, places to be. So, uh, that is that. And stay tuned for the rest of my video. I also want to go ahead and say that I, as for the Fenty Beauty Foundation, um, when I initially filmed it, I didn't watch any of the other reviews on it just so I can go ahead and get an unbiased opinion on the foundation. So I initially tried it out in the shade 430. It, like, it, the finish was really beautiful. I didn't really care too much about its consistency. Now, in my review, I said that it was too thick, um, and I was also working from Little Tester because it was sold out at my Sephora location. So, uh, from the Little Tester, I couldn't really, obviously I can see the consistency, but it wasn't thick, uh, just because I'm not used to putting so much on for my other foundations. It was more, it was very liquidy, and it dried really quickly, so like I didn't have enough time to work with it. Um, I did try 440 the next day and 440 was very neutral and I looked extremely pale by the end of the day because it oxidized. So I think I might have to mix uh, 430 with 450 which is a very red undertone or I might need to go back to Sephora and try 450. I don't know. But that's enough rambling. Uh, let's get to the soft matte uh, glam look. Why don't we? Alright, so it's really the heat went back up and I'm really annoyed about that. But listen, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it, I don't like it. It's really humid. I think that's why. I'm gonna go ahead and start by pinning my hair back. Don't mind my edges, I made an appointment. Don't judge me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by priming my skin with the Benefits Pore Professional Primer. I put so much more here. Now for this next step, I don't tend to, I don't care for this step. I've tried it so many times. The picture that I am referencing, which I'm going to go ahead and put again right here. Um, I didn't do this step, but I've seen a lot of other beauty bloggers swear by this step. Every time I've done it, my makeup has always come out blotchy. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and blend to the gods today. I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade medium deep and I'm gonna go ahead and set my primer. I mean it's mad hot today so like I'm gonna need to set this. I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite foundation which is the Urban Decay Weightless Skin Naked Skin. Wow, hold on. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Shout out to Urban Decay for extending their shade range. But what, what? This used to be the darkest shade. It ain't no love. <laughs> so I always just take either a pump, a puff and a half, or really depends on how extra I'm feeling. I'm feeling just a tad extra. So like I kind of just like pew pew add a little bit extra. Instead of just taking it on the beauty blender, I always love to just like dot it on. This foundation doesn't dry down as quickly, so you have enough time to work with it. Now that I'm already seeing the difference in my skin just by setting the primer, which I'm very happy with. So hopefully it'll turn out good today, because if you have a problem, you So in the picture I generally I used the uh I think it was it was the NYX concealer, the NYX Studio Photogenic Concealer. Uh, in the shade Nutmeg. Is this Nutmeg or Hazelnut? I think it was in the shade uh, Nutmeg. Right, this was in the shade Nutmeg, but however, it's almost at its, it's at the end of the road. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and this one is in the shade Nutmeg. I put a lot more than I normally do. So 
I'm literally just making it sure everything is blended out, specifically in the creases. And now I'm gonna go in with that Sam Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and go ahead and slightly, slightly bake. I say slightly bake only because I end up putting so much on you would assume that I'm baking but I just end up wiping it right off. As for this little trick right here, my cheekbones tend to be high enough to the point where I, and my face is slim enough to the point where I don't necessarily need to contour. If you, if I did want it to be like real extra, I would, but I generally don't. So instead of, uh, like, just to make it appear that I did try a little bit more, I cut my contour, basically place the powder right underneath where it would, or right underneath where my contour would sit. Wow, I can't talk today. Just to make it appear like I tried some, like I, like I put in some effort. I'm gonna go ahead and take the translucent powder and wipe off the translucent powder with the translucent powder. So next is the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and line my upper lid. I'm gonna do like a wing liner with the Kat Von D. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper Black and I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a natural wing. So my eyes started twitching and like now the lid is the, it's whatever. I don't care. I do care. But I don't care as much because I wear glasses, so it's all good. It's perfectly fine. So next I'm gonna go in with this little baby liner. Don't laugh at me, y'all. I'm gonna go in with this liner and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, smudge it on my lower lash line. Next for mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Gucci Iconic Ink, Iconic, bleh, I really can't talk in this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Gucci Iconic Infinite Lash Mascara in the shade black, and I'm gonna go ahead and just coat my lashes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a second coat to that, as well as my lower lashes. these bugs up to Jesus. I did a good job on mascara today, y'all. What y'all think? All right, next I'm gonna go in with this Milani powder blush in the shade Coral Grove, and I'm going to, you know, add a little quality to the face as well as slightly contour the cheeks. Uh, I prefer contouring with the blush rather than an actual contour for an everyday look specifically. I don't, that's just personally me. I tend to like how natural, how much more natural it looks, especially since we did the setting powder trick. It's like, I mean, like you still look like you got a little cut right there, don't do you not? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush, a, a small tape mesh, and obviously I'm gonna go ahead and take this Bomb AF Master Chrome. Highlighter by Maybelline, which, like I said before, is bomb AF because it is indeed bomb AF. Sizzle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray by Scandinavia. And for lips, I'm gonna go in with the best glamish nude combo, in my opinion. Line the lips with BFF3 and then go in with this liquid lipstick. <coughs> Take two. All right, so for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF3. And then as well, I'm gonna go ahead and coat my lips with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. It's like a velvet lip cream, rather in the shade Exotic. And just for one final touch, I'm gonna go ahead and just take that same Master Chrome Highlighter by Maybelline and just lightly highlight my Cupid's bow. And 
and that is it for the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is honestly, I guess, like my go-to glam neutral look ever. I mean, it looked like you caked up and cute and like you tried, but it also, you know, it's like, yo, you can wear this to work. You could wear this to go get brunch with your girlfriends. You could wear this to a job interview, what have you. I think this is, I, this is, this is the gray. This is the gray between the black and white. I love it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And go ahead and follow me on my social medias. Because why not? I post cute stuff, I think. I think I'm funny. I'm probably not, but I think. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead and follow my social media. Tell me whether or not I'm funny or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.